Hi everybody, I had to do a voiceover because of the wind, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is take the foam guard off. So you just take this little elastic strap off of the side uh, bars there and remove those. And I don't know why, but I tend to work in uh, symmetry here. So take off the other side. You don't need to go side to side if you want to be a more efficient. The next is to undo the straps to remove the seat. So you take that Velcro strap off, and that becomes the strap in which you uh, will roll up the whole thing. And then um, you unsnap or unhook the seats that the seat that attaches to these metal bars with uh, three different adjustments. So then you just take that strap out. Completely, there's a little plastic uh, loop there that it feeds through, and there you go. And I think I'm explaining here that that becomes the strap that uh, holds the kayak together once you have folded it down. So you want to keep that handy. And what I do is um, I put it fuzzy side down and I position it under the kayak here uh, so that once it's rolled up I don't have to search for it or locate it and place it so I kind of guesstimate there where it needs to go the metal bracket or the metal loop is on the outside towards the fin so then the next thing I'm explaining here is this is the uh, it's sort of a support bar and it's uh, optional so you're going to release by pressing down the, on that bar and then just simply rotating that little piece down and then fold out and away from you and that releases the support bar. So I'm going to put that over there and then I'll do the opposite side. Same thing, you're just pressing down on that bar and then unfolding it towards the inside. So you press the lever away from you. Here's a nice close-up. Pull that cotter pin out. So we only have cotter pins in the front uh, latch and the back latch. There are no cotter pins on the side latches. And I'm explaining that the cotter pin only goes midway, not completely through. So press down, rotate, pop that up and away and pull it out of the slot. Then I call these little straps the band-aid strap. <laughs> it just helps to kind of position everything when you're putting it together. So just pop that off. And now you can see that we're starting to literally unfold our kayak. And you just want to kind of get that fin out of the way. There you go. And there's a little bit of water there. And that water is simply from my paddling. It is not from water coming over the edge or anything like that. These straps you want to lengthen all the way and put them on the outside edge. And that becomes uh, the attachment for our shoulder strap. So you'll see towards the end here that one of the straps worked itself back in. So you do want to monitor and keep those on the outside. Then the side latch, same thing. Just push down, rotate, and then pop that away from you. There we go. It's really... Uh, Brilliant design. Then now we're at the front, so as I mentioned, this will have a cotter pin. So here I am talking about that cotter pin again. You don't want to press it all the way up into the big loop. It goes to the middle loop. Pop that off, push down, roll it away from you, and the lever goes away from you. And it through, uh, it pops out of that slot. And then here's your last little uh, band-aid strap here. Just unhook that. Oh, there we go. And then you have your footrest, which is a got a tensioning cord on it, sort of a spring-loaded tensioning cord. And this is where you tension it. Uh, so you just want to completely untension that, pull that through, and then we're set to go. So now, the fun and exciting part, rolling this big blue burrito up 
into a nice portable package. I'm just uh, shaking out a little bit of water there. Um, normally I would, because I'm a little particular, I would wipe it down, but uh, for this demonstration I'm not. All right, now you take the foam pieces and you put it in that first compartment. I guess you could say that's the second compartment, really, but I call it the first one. And I like to have it nice and neat, and then you just fold this over. Now, I continuously forget to put that support bar in there. You can put that in there as well, so you have one nice consolidated package. And then really, you just follow those crease lines. It comes sort of kind of automatic. And isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, what a great design. Ah, so that's the seat, and then I... All right, here we go. And then see the metal bracket? It just kind of folds to the inside automatically. And do another one. There we go. Well, I'm, I'm small. I'm <clears throat> about 112 pounds, maybe a little less. <laughs> and so I am using my body weight for leverage. I don't think you really need to. Now this part's a little tricky. This is where I really have to use some body English. So that's the seat, and it goes in the last compartment. So you want to line it up in there, and you need to keep it flush against that crease line. Keep it from squirting out forward. And I think at this point I realize, oh, I need this strap <laughs> that I left on there. So because I'm on video, I had a little problem. When I'm not videoing, it just goes easy peasy. <clears throat> so... Take heart, it's really not that complicated. Aha, now I realize that the strap needs to come out. So you do want to remove the strap from the seat because that's your shoulder strap for carrying. And I have it cinched completely up for the seat really short, so you'll want to lengthen it probably for carrying it. All right, now here we go. I'm waving to a boater who is sharing his music enthusiastically. And there we go, there's my <laughs> my rollover. It was kind of fun. And now we just roll this last piece. And you can see my strap is almost perfectly placed. And then you want to feed that strap through that notch in the fin there. And um, because I had fuzzy side down, now it's all uh, properly positioned for cinching up. And there I realize, oh, forgot this. So I'm just going to stick it under the Velcro. No harm done. It really doesn't take up any more space that way. And so I cinch it up nice and tight. <laughs> what a beautiful design. Voila. I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> okay, and now we're attaching the strap, the shoulder strap, to um, what, what uh, are the seat straps. Those are the straps that we threw to the outside edge. And just snap that on and then you'll see here that uh, somehow I wasn't paying attention so that strap got onto the inside a little bit so if you just give me about 15 seconds I'll be able to pull that out <laughs> but <clears throat> at least you know this wasn't a, a practiced run and this was a real run and I will tell you that this was the second time I've ever done this so I've watched many videos where they make look something look easy, and then when you actually do it, it's not. But this one, I have to say, I think was easier than expected from uh, after watching the videos. So uh, have confidence that this will not be a challenge to you. And there you have it. We're all set and ready to go. And last but not least, let's put this thing in my car. So it gives you a little perspective of uh, size and proportions. I have a Volvo XC60, so I've got plenty of room, but it's not a huge SUV. And there I am, able to lift that in and go along my merry way. Wonderful design. Thank you, Tuck Tech, and thank you all for watching. <laughs>